Okay, so there's going to be a theme you're going to notice throughout this video, and that is how much more junked up my bench becomes as we work our way through the project. Notice, right now it's relatively tidy. It's not too bad. It's, it's organised. Still quite hot. I've found since I uh, got the belt grinder into a usable condition, it's become very useful. Uh, I'm not entirely happy with it as it stands. It's nothing to do with this video, but just thinking about it whilst I was here editing, um, I would like to start it over with larger contact wheels and a two metre long belt if I could find it. I've just had so many ideas for it and that, ways of improving it.
on screen right now you'll see the stars uh, I had started this project and changed my mind twice there were two part build burners on my bench the reason being was I thought to myself initially I started out I was going to build just a replica of the original burner and I thought there's no real point of that because it's it's not going to serve the purpose of what I want now so I thought I would use the same concept but change it up to suit my needs so the burner is going to like be based off of the same idea how it works but intended to suit my needs now for a larger shed I'm using hot heat bond uh, for the stove rope. I've popped the glass in the door and now I'm going to put the rope in. Uh, I forgot to hit record. Now with the door I've put a piece of glass in there, cemented the stove open and then I've placed a piece of metal over the top of it. The idea of that is I want to create a seal not only for the glass but also for the door. I'm going to tack weld, and there's going to be small tacks, I'm going to tack weld this metal plate in. And uh, if anyone's going to do this as well, I've thought about this, I recommend you make sure your tacks are accessible for a grinder in case you ever need to change the glass. Okay, place the smallest tacks I can. I'm gonna have to grind them ones out of the way because I want to place them down there. See, told you, the theme. I'm working within, I don't know, about 12 or 12 inches of my bench now because the rest of it's just full of junk and crap and tools that I've not bothered to put away.
so incredibly annoying. I'm halfway through and I've run out of argon. Thought I would uh, give you my plan. So a lot of people say to me about the small one adding a heat exchanger. So I've made, well I'm making, a small heat exchanger. <sighs> we have gas. Not a smelly kind of gas. So yes, we have gas! Which means I can get back on with this. Okay, so this time this is a five litre fuel cell that I've made. I ran out of um, 100 by 100 box sections, so I've made some up. It's about to suck. Up until this point, I have gone over everything fairly quickly. Uh, I thought I'd get your opinions on that. I'd like to know, well, if you would prefer a more in-depth look at how this is made and that, or if a quick skim over is all people seem to want. Um, we're now at the point where I'm going to start putting the heater, the heat exchanger, and the fuel tank together. I've made up a just a rough bit of... Uh, bar work just to hold everything in place and get it all mounted so this is the burner I did that bit off camera because I forgot to hit record uh, the air unlike the original is coming up through this lower port and it comes all the way to the top of the glass and it sort of vents in sideways I was told by someone that having the air coming in like on a normal wood stove having some air coming up through by the glass will help to stop the eventual sitting so I have attempted that with this one
part of the reason why it's taken so long to get this video done is I've been waiting for this. This is a fluid float level switch on and off. My plan loads of people always say oh um you know getting the flow correct uh, not having it overflow and overfill etc and uh, I thought about that and I decided that this was the logical answer so what I've done is made up a little tiny pot and that chamber is going to have a small amount of pressure in it so I want to keep the oil levels correct so that will be my switch and it's going to go in to the back of the heater like so I can't guarantee if this is going to work or not I've measured this all up to work out where the point is where it cycles to try and get the cycle correct inside the chamber yeah so that's where we're at I've got to weld all that together now okay so I'm not 100% done uh, I still got to make a latch for a start for the door but uh, this is going to be my first test run <coughs> fortunately it's going to be ending here guys I'm having some trouble with the float switch I can't get the chamber to prime with enough oil to get a really good burn I just sort of stay at this low burn level so I need to adjust the height of that switch uh, and I'll get back to you in the next video with that please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see this thing actually work